industry. We dominate in the education sector. We dominate in the health sector. We dominate in services. We dominate in products. Father, you made that provision already for us before the foundations of the world were made. Father, we thank you for that provision that you made for us. We will dominate in our different spheres of influence. We will dominate in the mighty name of Jesus. We will dominate. I dominate, I dominate, I dominate. For your word says the earth is yours and all its fullness. The silver and the gold, they all belong to you. We are stewards. We are stewards of these possessions. Thank you, Lord, for making your wealth, making wealth available to us. Available to our family, available for generations to come. You made it available to us. Father, we thank you before the silver is yours and the gold is yours. And these you have made available to us. They are available to us in our business. They are available to us in everything that concerns us. They are available. They are available in, our, in, 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 in all that we do. They, it is a, they, it, they are available. In the mighty name of Jesus. The silver is available to us. The gold is available to us. Possessions. We are just stewards of these possessions. Father, we acknowledge again that we are stewards, oh God. And we thank you for the stewardship you have given unto us. And we will, we will execute our stewardship to precision, oh God. You, we will execute our stewardship with wisdom from on high, oh God. We will execute our stewardship worship father with direction we we'll walk in sync and in tune with you thank you lord for giving us dominion over all things on the earth according to jeremiah 22 verse 29 we now proclaim O earth O earth speak to the earth as you are saying this prayer O earth O earth hear ye the word of the lord I, Adanzi, every watcher will eat the fruit of the land where we live. I will eat the fruit of the land where I live. I will enjoy double portion of the earth's goodness. I will increase and will rejoice in the in my portion of the land. Earth, oh earth, because you have that authority. Speak with authority to the earth. Decree to the earth that, that this earth, wherever you are living, wherever you are doing business, you will enjoy a double portion of the earth's goodness. The earth will cooperate with you the earth will cooperate with you ha ah, we will increase uh, i will increase uh, i will rejoice in the in my portion of this land uh, all the watchers expressions uh, and their families will possess immeasurable wealth and everlasting joy shall be a lot according to isaiah 61 verse 7 Hata, la, 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 bo, re, de, 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 i will experience uh, imagine immeasurable wealth uh, everlasting joy not just wealth uh, not just wealth but wealth with joy for the bible says uh, the blessing of the lord uh, make it rich he adds no sorrow to it uh, he adds no sorrow how uh, we have these blessings with joy we have these blessings with joy for the word of god says uh, the blessing of the lord uh, bring it wealth with uh, with painless toil the blessing of the Lord bring that wealth. We will have wealth with painless toil in the name of Jesus. We will have wealth with painless toil. We plug in. We plug in. We experience. We possess immeasurable wealth in our businesses, in our expressions, on the different mountains. We are, we possess immeasurable wealth. Everlasting joy, everlasting joy, immeasurable wealth. We speak your word. We speak your, you said that your word will not return unto you void, but it will accomplish everything that you have determined for it to accomplish. And we speak that word, even over our businesses. We speak that word, even over our expressions. We speak that word, even over our families. Natalia. We experience it in the name of Jesus. It becomes tangible to us. It is tangible in our lives. It is tangible in our businesses. It is tangible in our different expressions. Hataya borende di kere doro bo sakaya mandan de 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 bosa hadie tu de de kire basa. In the name of Jesus, let's move on to section three. Hada to section one three. Hata moko boro do bosa. Are you praying these scriptures? Are you speaking these scriptures? Are you letting them jump into you? Are you receiving? In revelation from them for indeed oh we are not like men men walking the earth we have a higher knowledge we have a higher calling we have been set apart not just to one
wander around, but to dominate. Uh, even in our environment, we have been set apart to have dominion in the name of Jesus. Hatali uh, Debe, 2 Corinthians 9, 8 to 11. And God will generously provide you, my sisters, all you need. He will provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Can you hear what the word of God is saying? It says that you, he will provide you with all that you need and you will always, not always, have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. That's what stewardship, stewardship is all about. You will have everything you need and plenty left over to share, to share, to share. And the scripture says, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered for God does not forget seed sown, I tell you. God does not forget seed sown. Even your good deeds, God remembers them because the Bible says that the arms of even the, even, was it Cornelius? The, his arms were remembered in heaven and God sent them to minister to him. His arms were remembered. Can you imagine that? So my dear sisters, you'll be able to share freely, give generously to the poor and the Lord will acknowledge even the, even the, even the deeds that you do and the gifts that you give. For God is the one who provides uh, Hallelujah. God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. He provides us seed and he provides us bread. In the same way, the Lord will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Ah, as a steward, you will be generous. You will be generous. Even if you are struggling with generosity, I tell you that right now you can come and say, I am generous by his grace. By that, this adoption into sonship, generosity begins to blow, to whelm up on the inside of you. You will be generous. You will no longer be called stingy. If that was your case before now, embrace the generosity that comes from the spirit of the living God. Embrace the generosity. Yes, you'll be enriched in every way. That's what the Bible says. So that you can always be generous. So that you can always be generous. And when we take your gifts to those who need them, they will thank God. Father God, I thank you that Father, I will Produce that there will be a great harvest of generosity produced in me, even as you provide me with resources, even as you increase my resources, even as you enrich me in every way, I will always be generous. I commit to always be generous, even as I give gifts, oh God, to those who need them, they will thank God, they will thank God, their praise will go up to, to God concerning the gifts I have given. And the Bible says in Psalm 2, verse 7 to 8, I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said, to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance. The ends of the earth, your possession. Do you hear that? He said, ask of me and I will make the nations your inheritance. The ends of the earth, your possession. Father, we come to you with your word. We come back to you with your word. You are our father. You are our father. And your word says, oh God, that, can, that even we as mortal men, if our children ask us for bread, we give them a snake. Even we as mortal men. So therefore you, Lord, you said we should ask you. Hey, therefore we ask you, Lord. But the, you yeah, the nation. For the nations, for souls, we ask you, Lord, for the nations, oh God, we ask you according to your word. You said you will give the nations to us. You will give the nations to us and make the ends of the earth our inheritance. We thank you for the privilege to be able to bring this, to be for, for giving this to us. We thank you for the privilege. You are God from before time and for ages to come. Faithful are you, oh God. Even when we are faithless, you will remain faithful for you cannot deny yourself. And according to your word, we, I declare that the nations are my inheritance. Are you declaring it? That the nations are my inheritance. The ends of the earth are my possessions. The ends of the earth, the nations are my inheritance. According to your word, oh God, I speak your word back to you. I declare it over my life. The nations are my inheritance. The nations and the ends of the earth are my possession. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did for me on the cross. You became poor, that through your poverty, I and my family, throughout the lifetime of our lineage, will be wealthy. We will Will be wealthy throughout the lifetime of our lineage. You increase our resources. You produce a great harvest of generosity in me. Ah, no, no, I say yes to your word. I say yes to your word. I say yes to your stewardship. I say yes to your stewardship. I say yes to generosity. I say yes to generosity. Produce a great harvest of generosity in me, oh God. Father, your, your, your resources with me will not waste. Your resources with, with me will not miss road. Your resources with me will be a blessing. For the Bible Bible says I have blessed you so that you can be a blessing. Indeed, will be a blessing. Will be a blessing to our community. Will be a blessing to our environment. Will
will be a blessing to our neighborhood, will be a blessing to our churches, will be a blessing to our offices, will be a blessing everywhere we go. People will feel that when they come to us, the problem is solved. When they come to us, the problem is solved because of the harvest of the generosity in us. Hallelujah, oh God. I affirm you, Lord, that you want us healthy, wealthy. You want us wealthy. You want us wealthy. According to your word, you want us wealthy. Hallelujah. We are en I am enriched in every way. I hope you are speaking that scripture up into your life. I am enriched in every way to always be generous. I am enriched in every way to always be generous. I am called rich because I always have everything. Hallelujah. I lack nothing. I lack nothing. God is not glorified if I am stagnant and lacking. God is not glorified if I am stagnant and lacking. There are problems upon the earth of which God has decreed that I will be there to solve because I have everything. Because I ha always have everything. Because I lack nothing, oh God. Father, I will be there to be a blessing. I have been blessed to be a blessing. I declare your word back into my life. I declare your word. I have been blessed to be a blessing. God takes glory in my prosperity. To experience God's word in your life, you have to agree with His, with the way his word works, with what he decreed his word, his word to do. You have to agree with it. Agree, agree that you will be that blessing will be that blessing oh god god you take glory in my prosperity the floodgates of heaven have been opened to shower me with mani manifest blessings i declare i am wealthy Mande de do bori akala. i am wealthy i am wealthy in every way in every means god provides for me ha every in everything in silver in gold in naira in 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 in, in dollars in euro in pounds i am wealthy I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. And I am blessed to be a blessing. I am blessed to be a blessing. I am blessed to be a blessing. I am blessed. There is a harvest of generosity in me. I am a faithful steward. I am a faithful steward. And I will be a faithful steward. Steward till Jesus comes. Till Jesus comes or till he welcomes me home, I will be a faithful steward. We give, we say back to you, O oh God, as watchers connect, O oh God, we will be faithful stewards. We'll be faithful stewards. Father, for your kingdom, the work of your kingdom will not fail in our hands. The work of your kingdom will not fail in our hands. Father, we say you can count on us. Father, we say you can count on us. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We exalt you. We thank you. We thank you because your word is real, real and alive. Your word is sharper than any two-edged sword and it accomplishes that which you have spoken concerning it. It happens in our lives and we say amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue praying in tongues. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we bless your name. We give you all the glory and all the praise. We exalt your name, O oh Lord. Thank you for another opportunity, O oh Lord, to pray concerning our businesses, O oh Lord. Thank you for the prayer points that have gone ahead, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, I thank you because your word says it is yes and amen. So right now we're going to move straight into session two, in which we'll be dealing with the adversary. We're looking at three scriptures. The first one, John 10, verse 9 to 10. And he says, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, the thief cometh not but for to kill and to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Another version of the scripture says that my purpose is to give them a, a rich and satisfying life. It says, I am come, they will have life and have it more abundantly. So God wants to give us a rich and satisfying life. That's from the NLT. First Peter 5, 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. So who is an adversary? The Bible says, the, uh, the, 
the dictionary says that the adversary is one is an opponent is either an opponent in a contest a conflict or a battle so that gives us the impression that we are fighting a battle here an adversary is also an enemy uh, one that contends with opposes or resists us the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. So whatever we want to take, be it our health, our wealth, our business, our career, there is an adversary. And 1 Peter 5, 8 says that we should be sober because that adversary, who is the enemy, is going, is, is walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he will devour. So basically, He's looking for us to devour us. So the question is, what are we doing? Are we sitting down to wait till he um, destroys? No way. We have decided to stand and take our place as we fight. Um, Matthew 18, 19 to 20 says, again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. I thank God because we are more than two or three in this call. So we are gathering in the name of Jesus with regard to our business. And we're going to go straight into the prayer point. Now we, have, we, know, and we, we, we know who an adversary is. We know that he's seeking to devour us. Is an enemy, wants to contend with us, oppose us, and resist us. So we have to stand, right? So we're now going to go straight into the prayer points, and we're going to say, Father, you have said if we agree as touching anything, that it will be done. Therefore, we declare that concerning every missed opportunity, every idea that has been stolen or manipulated from us, Every thought that we had, every dream, every vision that we had concerning our business and our career, that as we missed that we have lost, we begin to be, begin to speak for a revisitation in the name of Jesus. We declare, let us pray in the name of Jesus, that revisitation of those dreams, that those dreams will come alive. The ideas that he gave us that we have missed, the opportunities that God gave us that we have missed, uh, we begin to bring them back forth in the name of Jesus. Uh, because the Bible says that the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Therefore, we declare in the name of Jesus, uh, Father Lord, uh, every dream that the enemy has stolen concerning my business, begin to speak forth your business, your career, everything that the enemy has stolen concerning my business, every opportunity that has been stolen, everything that has been manipulated. Uh, we arise in the name of Jesus uh, and we declare, we claim back that which has been taken concerning our ideas, that business, uh, that opportunity. Was it the business that you started, but for one reason or the other, you had to stop? Was it the dream and vision that God gave you that you have started and you were thinking, how do I do this? Knowing that it's not by power, by might, but by the spirit. Therefore, every way that the enemy has distracted us from moving forward with that plan that God has said concerning our business, we begin to declare in the name of Jesus, we take back the dream, we take back the vision, we stand in the power of the might of Jesus Christ uh, to go forth uh, in the name of Jesus with that which he has given us. Uh, Father Lord, uh, we begin to declare, Father Lord, we ask you to release uh, and cause to fall on me and my bloodline, all the generational wealth, uh, all the businesses and opportunities that will enable me to live a life abundantly. Oh, Bible says that we shall live a life and it will be abundant, abundant life. Therefore, we begin to stand. Let's begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Father, begin to release. Cause to follow me and my bloodline, my lineage, every lineage, every person in my lineage, in my generation, all the generational wealth, all the blessings and opportunities 
opportunities and ideas, uh, all the dreams and visions that you have said concerning my bloodline. Uh, let us begin to bring them, call them forth in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says we shall decree a thing uh, and it shall be established. Uh, let's begin to declare her. Uh, even if you are not married, it doesn't matter. If you don't have children, it doesn't matter. There's a lineage. Uh, there's, a, there's a lineage. There's a generation that God has prepared you for. Uh, let's begin to pray for that generational wealth uh, to start coming forth into our lineage in the name of Jesus. All the wealth, oh Lord, all the wealth, all the riches that you have said concerning our generation, the same that we'll use for the betterment and the furtherance of your kingdom. Father, Lord, we begin to release it in the name of Jesus. Wherever it is stuck, wherever it is stuck, whatever covenant, whatever, 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 foothold, whatever stronghold that's preventing those generational wealth to come forth uh, into my lineage in the name of Jesus. I come against it. Uh, I put it down in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, uh, let your blood speak to any trouble or snare that the enemy has designed to hinder the, pro to hinder the progress of my business. Uh, the Bible says uh, that we should keep uh, a cool head. Uh, we should stay alert. In First Peter 5, 8, uh, the message trans um, translation says, we should keep a cool head. He says we should stay alert uh, because he, the devil is poised to pounce, to catch us napping. Let us begin to declare, the devil will not catch us napping in the name of Jesus. Uh, we will not be caught sleeping in the name of Jesus. Uh, we will not be caught sleeping on our watch. Uh, Father, Lord, we begin to declare concerning every member of the Watchers Connector uh, and by extension, oh Lord, every member of the watchers, oh Lord, we will not be caught snapping in the name of Jesus. Let your blood speak. Let your blood speak. Let your blood speak to any trouble and snare the enemy has designed to hinder the progress of everybody represented on this call, to render the progress of their business, of their career. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We stand alert. We stand alert in the name of Jesus. We declare every attempt by the enemy to steal, to kill, to destroy the dreams that God has placed in our hearts, the dreams of our husbands, of our spouses, of our wives, of our children. Hey, it's refill in the name of Jesus. Because your word says, oh Lord, when two of us come together and agree concerning anything, in the name of Jesus, it shall be established. Therefore, we declare every attempt of the enemy to steal, to kill, to destroy the dreams that you have placed in our hearts is destroyed in the name of Jesus. We pull it back. We pull it out. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold, every stronghold of the enemy preventing us from moving forward. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We lift up every spouse, every husband, every wife, of every watcher, every children, every grandchildren, everyone in our lineage. We declare that the dream is alive. The dream is alive. The dream will come to pass. That vision will come to pass. That thought, that purpose, that plan that God has concerning our career and our business, it will be established. We will use it for the furtherance of your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we move right now, O Lord, to the next to the next session in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, uh, ah, the uh, session session two point two, the scriptures, Psalm one one five, verses thirteen to sixteen says, uh, "You will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. <laughs> May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth." The highest heaven belongs to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. The earth he has given to mankind. Another version says, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Another version says, may the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. 
Hallelujah. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and the earth. The heavens, even the heavens are the Lord. We begin to declare in the name of Jesus, according to the scriptures, that the Lord will bless every watcher, every member of the watchers connect in the name of Jesus because we fear the Lord. The Lord will cause us to flourish, both us and our children. We'll be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and not earth. The Lord will increase us more and more and more in the name of Jesus. Ah, Thank you, Jesus. The earth levels belongs to the Lord, but the earth, because the Lord has given us this earth for us, for us to use. The Bible says that we should go forth and take dominion. He says we should subdue, we should we replenish. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we declare, we will go forth with the mandate that God has said because the Bible says he has, he has given it to us. Psalm 112, 1-3 says, praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses and their righteousness endures forever. Wealth and riches will be, begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Wealth and riches are in my house. Mention your name. Mention your spouse's name, your children's name. Begin to declare. Wealth and riches are in my house. Wealth and riches are in my house. Me, okay, as a neighbor, I declare that wealth and riches are in my house. Wealth and riches are in my spouse's house. They're in my children's house. They're in my lineage's house in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and their righteousness endures forever. Let's move on to the next scripture, the prayer point. The first one says, I command every wicked law and obstacle operating against my growth and breakthrough to be destroyed by the fire of God. The, the heathen cannot rage against me because the one who rules heaven laughs and scoffs at them, according to Psalm 1, Psalm 2, verse 4. Ha, the Bible says that. Ha, ha, ha. Why do the evil rage? Why do they imagine a vain thing? <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the Lord will hold them in derision. The Bible says, I, let us begin to declare. Let us begin to declare. Let us begin to declare. Let us begin to command and declare every wicked law and obstacle operating against my business growth, uh, my family growth, uh, my career growth, and my breakthrough. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, remember we have read, the Bible says that the earth, he has given it to us. Therefore, we need to take dominion. Let us begin to take a stand concerning that which God has given us in Psalm 115. He says, the earth he has given to the children of men. Therefore, I command in the name of Jesus. Every wicked law, every obstacle operating against my growth, my business growth, my career growth, my husband's growth, my children's growth, every and breakthrough. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God in the name name of Jesus. When they rage, when they rage, it shall not come to pass. Everything the enemy has declared concerning our business will not come to pass in the name of Jesus. We pull down every stronghold of the enemy. We pull down every striving, every contention concerning our business in the name of Jesus. When we begin to realize Realize that the businesses that God has given us is not only for us. It's not only for us to get bread and eat and 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 begin to and be rich, so to speak. But it's all these mainly stewards. That's what we are. We're stewards of what has been given to us. So we're meant to be a blessing. Hey, we're supposed to be a conduit. Thereby, the when the blood gives us the wealth. He doesn't stay with us. We don't sit on it. We release it to God and say, this is what you have given me. What do you want me to do? 
they have become, they, in doing that, we become stewards of that which has been given to us. Therefore, we begin to declare in the name of Jesus, every obstacle against the growth and breakthrough in our business, we begin to pull it down in the name of Jesus. We, declare, we begin to declare, he shall not stand. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Every ancestral doors closed against our lifting. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Let the everlasting doors be opened. Let it be removed. Let the everlasting doors, let it, let it, let it be open in the name of Jesus. Lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Oh, rekeke zikele bobo sonka. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors. Nekeke zikele bobo sonka mama shikele hey. Therefore, every ancestral doors closed against our lifting is removed in the name of Jesus. Let us declare it is removed in the name of Jesus. Let us decree that the very best of the country where we reside, every nation that we do business with shall come to us in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to decree that secret riches of this nation's are revealed to us. Let us claim them all. Let us decree that the corresponding government authorities in every nation where God leads us will favor our family in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to declare, begin to declare that country where you reside. Is it Nigeria? Is it United States? Is it the UK? Is it Canada? Declare. We are not restricted to where we live to do business. The Lord will expand us in the name of Jesus. I receive the very best of Canada. I receive the very best of Nigeria. I receive the very best of the United States in the name of Jesus. I decree secret riches of these nations are revealed to me in the name of Jesus. I declare, I claim it. I claim the secret riches that the government authorities, the government and the authorities, they begin to favor us in the name of Jesus. They will favor us. They will favor our business proposal. They will prefer favor our business ideas in the name of Jesus. We have favor with God and we have favor with men in the name of Jesus. We receive the power to gain kingdom wealth and kingdom success, kingdom productivity, kingdom knowledge in the name of Jesus, kingdom creativity, kingdom privileges in the name of Jesus. We decree that we bring forth fruits in and out of season. Let us decree also that the fruits that we bring will remain in him in the name of Jesus. The fruits we bring out of these businesses, they will remain and they will increase and multiply in the name of Jesus. The fruits that we bring will not stop with us. They will move from one generation to another. We'll be able to have succession plan in which we, 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 we take the business and hand it over like a baton to the next generation. Let us begin to declare that that food, that business will not stop with us, but it will continue to increase. It will continue to multiply in the hands of God, even as it leads us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for power, O oh Lord. Thank you for power, O oh Lord, for kingdom wealth, kingdom success, kingdom creativity, kingdom privilege. I lift up my sisters and my brothers before you, O oh Lord. Creativity, O oh Lord. Privileges, oh Lord, success that comes from you, productivity that comes from you, that will make us stand apart to be outstanding, stand apart from every other business in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we bless your name. We give you all the glory and all the praise as we move to the third section. Father, Lord, we thank you. The Bible says in Luke 11, 9 to 10, so I say to you, ask, it will be given to you. Seek, you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receive. The one who seeks will find. And the one who knocks, the door shall be open. And Hebrews 4, 15 to 16 says, For we do not have a high priest. Hallelujah. The Bible says that we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses. Hallelujah. But we have one who has been tempted in every way. Just as we are. Yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence 
so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Father, we bless your name for that word. We give you all the glory and all the praise. As we move to the prayer point, we begin to declare in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we have been given the mandate to ask and to receive. So let's begin to declare concerning our businesses and our career. Let us say, I am great. I am wealthy. I am, I am like a field the Lord has blessed. The Lord has expanded my territory. Therefore, I will see a humble harvest. A bumper harvest. Nations will come to my rising and see to the brightness of the dawn. The work of my hands is blessed without painful toil. Name or so come on my let's declare that concerning our business, our family, our children, our children, our career in the name of Jesus. Name or so come on my jig. I am like a the Lord feel the Lord has the Lord has expanded my territory, therefore I will see a bumper and nation will come to my presence and kings to the brightness of my dawn. The work of my hands We begin to declare also, I am blessed in the heaven places. The Lord always causes me to triumph. I will look and be radiant. My heart throbs with joy because the wealth of the seas will be brought to me. The witches of the nations will come to me. Let us declare this prayer point in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you because I am blessed in the heavenly places. That the Lord causes me to triumph. Thanks be to God that always causes us to triumph. And through us diffuses the fragrance of his presence in every place. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus as we go in everywhere to um, advertise our businesses, O oh Lord. Uh, the fragrance, O oh Lord. Uh, the fragrance. Your fragrance follows our business. So that it will smell, the smell, the, the people will perceive a great, a, a, a kingdom fragrance, a holy fragrance, a fragrance of glory in the name of Jesus. We will look how we are radiant. Our heart will throb with joy because the wealth of the seas is brought to us in the name of Jesus. The riches of the nation will come to us in the name of Jesus. Let's us declare with boldness and confidence that the Lord rises upon me. Let us declare it. The Lord rises upon me from Casaniego. Therefore, I am a winner. I can see my business prosper. I can see all debts paid off. Is there any debt that you need paid off? Is there any capital you need to raise? Is there anything that you owe anybody? This is the time for us to declare that my debts are paid off. I see my career growth in the name of Jesus. My career growth from glory to glory. I am promoted on my job. I am increased on my job. I am sought after in my field. You begin to become, you become an SME. You become a subject matter expert. People are looking for someone that will do something. The, your name will be on their list because the glory of God is over the business that he has given to. Let's begin to declare. Yes, Lord, with confidence and boldness, I declare that the Lord arises upon me. I am a winner. My business prosper. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it in the name of Jesus. All oh, my death are paid off in the name of Jesus. My career begins to grow from glory to glory. I am sought out, uh, sought out in my field in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the last prayer point in this session, we're going to bring out that list. Whatever list, whatever it is you are believing God for, whatever prayer points that you have, we're going to bring it out and ask God, whatever you want, according to the scripture in Luke 11, 9 to 10, in which we read earlier that says that ask, it will be given to me. Seek, it will be given to me. It, um, seek, I will find. When I knock, it will be open to me. Because the Bible says for everyone who asks will receive. Those who seek will find. And him who knocks, it will be open. Therefore, let us bring out those prayer points. Let us begin to declare concerning it. And let us ask the Lord uh, to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, O Lord, for my prayer, prayer, this prayer points. I lift them up before you. Begin to name those prayer points. Begin to name them. Begin to name them. Begin to write, name what is on your list. And begin to declare in the name of Jesus that, Father, Lord, because you have said that I should ask, 
Father Lord, you said that when I ask, it will be given to me. When I seek, I will find. Therefore, Father Lord, I bring up all these requests, petitions before you, Lord, and I receive an answer to them in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you are Jehovah Jireh, the one that provides my needs according to your riches and glory. Thank you, Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory. I thank you for my sisters and my brothers, oh Lord. I thank you for every prayer point that they have regarding their business and career. As we place it into your hands, we ask we declare an amen. We declare that solutions come, idea come, instruction comes. Holy Spirit, we yield our businesses even unto your hands. And we say, let your name be glorified. Devil will lose your hold concerning every business represented on this platform. We declare in the name of Jesus that we dedicate this business unto Lord and say, Father Lord, let your name be glorified in this business, O Lord, as we use it for the furtherance of your kingdom, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Ogo, are you on the call? Oh, okay. Okay, it's done. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, good evening. I'm still in the attitude of worship. I want us to just worship right now before we enter into our third section, Doors of Blessings. You are not a man, no. You are not a man. Mm. You are the God who opens doors no man can shut. Mm. You are not a man, no. You're not a man. You are the God of everything. No one like you. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you, Lebron Toya Satya. No one like you, Eredu Mare. No one like you, Master. You are the God of everything. No one like you. There's none like our Father. There is none beside him. There is none to compare with him. He's the one that opens doors that no man can shut, and the one that he shuts. No man can open. I want us to first of all understand what um, door, what an open door means spiritually. And we got that um, revelation in Hebrew 11, 6. It says, and without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. And there are three keys that I want us to, to ponder on as we pray for door of blessing. Number one, the door that God opens will never contradict his word. The door that God opens will be accompanied by confirmation. The door that God opens will require you to depend on him. So we're going to go into this prayer with this understanding that we serve a God who is not a man that he should lie. He promises and brings his promises to pass. We serve our living God, who is almighty, all, almighty, who is all powerful. So we're looking at doors of blessings, section 3.1, the scripture, the anchor scripture, scripture for this prayer point is taken from Deuteronomy 8, verse 18. Now remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant, which he swore to your ancestors as it is today. I like King James Version a lot. I, in King James Version, it says, and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. So you're not doing anything out of ordinary. It's a command. 
you are in the right, you are doing what God wants you to do. You are converting, you are commanding, you are taking position. And if we look at Genesis 12, 2 to 3, it says, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. It's a promise. I will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. When I read this scripture, I received, I have this good people all over me, knowing how much God loves us, knowing how much he loves us, how much he goes for giving his only begotten son, how he will not remove his eyes from us, how he wants us to ask, ask, knock, seek until our joy is full. So tonight, we're going to be praying we're going to be decreeing that the Lord will manifest, will manifest himself in our business. That that door, that door that the Lord has, has, has opened, because the door is already opened. The problem that we have is that we don't even know how to access this door. Most times we don't even know how to go about it. And it takes us, it, it makes us stagnant. It, it, it takes us to a place and we are not moving forward. So tonight, we're going to be praying. And in the name of Jesus, I decree, declare henceforth that the Lord will manifest and exact the time of your portion of the earth because he has given you the power to produce wealth. You're going to open your mouth tonight and be decreeing and be declaring that the Lord, the Lord made me, shall, has made me an, a, 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 an instrument. He has given me the power to produce wealth. He has given me everything that I need. He has given me everything that I need, the wisdom, the ability, the capacity, the resources. The Lord has made the door available that I'm going to stand on at the gate. I am not moving anywhere until I see that every door the Lord has planned, every door that the Lord has, has positioned to open for me to flourish until I see them manifest to physical, to physical, until I see them, until I start experiencing them, until I start living them, until I start dwelling in them, until I start manifesting those doors, the great things that the Lord has had in store for me, until I start, I will not leave the gate. I stand at the gate until those doors are fully opened. And tonight, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare. Begin to declare. Say, Father, favor my righteous cause as I proceed. Surround me with sponsors. Send me helpers, divine laborers, divine assistants. Send me, send me helpers from above, from the north, from the east, from the west, from the south. Send me helpers, oh Lord. Advocates, open the doors that, that need to be opened. Lose the loins of kings. Present my mothers anywhere they mention my company, anywhere they mention my name. Let favor follow me. Let my name open doors of favor. Let my name open doors of blessings. Let my name open doors, break barriers, open your mouth and begin to declare that this, that the, the, the power, that the power in the word of God will make manifest in your life. Father, in the name that is above it, let there be a convergence of opportunities, persons, resources, places and things, institutions to favor my call in the mighty name of Jesus, as the Lord to surround you with people that will lead you, will direct you, people that will not mislead you, people that will show you, people that will not confuse you, as the Lord to connect you to your destiny helpers, people who will speak well of you, people who even in an event or even in a gathering that they raise your name in any, or in, in, any, in any form, they will stand and defend you, as the Lord to connect you. Father, connect me connect me. Connect me, oh God. Connect me, oh God. Connect me to my destiny helpers. Connect me to the destiny helpers of my company. Open the, your mouth and ask the Lord to connect you, to connect our spouses, to connect us. Connect us. Any door that we knock, any door that we knock, that his favor will open those doors. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lebraco satoli branda kashinte ye lebraco sekete. Malibronda ita 
Brako Shakatele Brako Sekete, Matsote Yele Brako Seketori Branda Itako Shita, Mayete Gabo Sekete Libraco Sikate, Oh Lord, my Father, Mako Sekatori Braka Sekete Kelibrando Kosikate, Makasuko Telibranda Kasiketa, Leko Shante Yelibrando Kusakate, in the name that is above every other name, begin to command victories. Begin to command victory. Say, oh God, invoke the forces of destiny to favor me. Ah, begin to command victory. Begin to command breakthroughs. Begin to command resources. Begin to command breakthroughs in every bit, in every way. Business idea, business, the creativity, the innovations, new ideas, new views on how to navigate, how to how to present your business, even in the market. How to present your business, present your proposal. Begin to ask God for fresh ideas. Begin to ask God for fresh ideas, fresh way. Begin to ask God for new businesses. Begin to ask God to open your eyes, to see, to open your ear, to hear. Begin to ask God to open the secret treasures of heaven that you may know, that you may see, that you may receive, that you may perceive. Begin to ask God to give the standing way to know when to do to know when to move to know where to walk where to where to be at the right place at the right time open your mouth tonight and begin to ask call calling the resources necessary for your business and for your career to strive. You can only look up to Jesus. You can only look up to Jesus, the, the author and the finisher of our faith. Look unto Jehovah who is able to make a barren land fruitful. Look unto him who is able to make a desert become like a well-watered garden. Look unto him who is able to bring water from a rocky place. There is nothing that is impossible for him to do. What is that business? What is that move that you want to make? And you're dragging your legs. This is the time to move. This is the time to move. This is the time to ask God, which direction? How do I go? Where do I go? Who do I ask? Who do I go to to, to share this idea? Because you know, when he opens door, there is a confirmation. And when he opens door, he expects you to totally depend on him. Most of the problems that we have is that God has always been, most times, our last resort. We must have gone around to ask for ideas. We must have gone around to ask for one person to another before we now remember that we have a God. I want you to open your mouth tonight and ask God that in any way that have taken wrong decisions, in any way that have entered doors that are not ordained from you, in any way that have entered doors that are not approved by you, in any way that have done business in the ugly way, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we are lying you tonight that redirect me, O God, refocus me, O God. In any way, I have taken decisions based on my flesh, uh, based on my own understanding. Come on, victory is in every area. In every aspect of your business, in every aspect of your life, in the life of your children, in the academic work, in the life of your husband, in your business, in your career, he gave us blank checks. He gave us blank checks. He said, We should ask. We should ask. Ask. Don't stop asking until your joy is full. You can stop asking if your joy is full, but my own joy is not full. My God, he says that his blessing make it rich and add no sorrow. Ah, his blessing gives us peace. He adds no sorrow. His word in first Samuel 2 he says he raises up the poor out of the dark. And lifted up the beggar from the dawn hill to send them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of earth are the Lord's, and He has set the world upon them. As that the Lord will lead you to
our chosen field in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord will bring you faith high and the mighty in the field of your endeavor in the mighty name of Jesus. My Librando ko sekete, my shete ke Librando ko Santo yelebra ka sekete. Oh Lord, we thank you. Even as we enter section three, part two, and our anchor Bible verse there is uh, Joel two nineteen to twenty. Joel two nineteen to twenty. They do not reply to them. I am sending you grain, new wine, and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. I am sending you grain, new wine, and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Enough, enough to satisfy you fully. You know, this. When I read the scripture, it takes me back to that woman, that woman that the husband died, and the and the and the the the, 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 the people that the husband was owing, the creditors they were coming to request for her children. And she if she met Elijah, and Elijah told her what to do, get all the vessels, fill them up, and she was going around getting all the vessels, and until she had collected all the vessels of her neighbors, and she kept on filling them and was able to sell the oils and pay them. Look what the Lord is that I'm sending you grain and new wine and olive oil. My God, the God that we serve can never be dry, he can never leave you stranded, he can never leave you stranded. He loves us so much to bring us in the middle of the ocean and leave us to drown. No, he loves us so much that he gave. Fully. Never again will I make you an object. He cannot allow you to be put to shame. What is that business that is dragging? That business that you think that your competitors in the area where you're selling, that they're not allowing you to speak the word of God. That business that is dying. The Lord said that never, that nothing in our hands shall die. What is that thing that you are doing? Is that your career? You're not being satisfied. They're sidelining you. You're not getting your promotions or your arrears as when well due. They are treating you anyhow. Speak the word of God. I will drive the northern horn from you, pushing it into a past and barren land. It's it Eastern Rand will drown in the Dead Sea. And it can go up. Its smell will rise. Surely it has done great things. And when we look at Philippians 4, 9, it says, and this same God who take care of me will supply will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory, from his glorious riches, which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. He's already there. He's already given to us, given to us, free of charge. It's left for us to take that which belongs to us, to make those declarations and stand on them until it begins to manifest. It's left for us not to keep up, not to say, well, um, this thing is doing this, and you're looking at all the negativity, and you're not seeing God in what you are doing. You're looking at all the obstacles, and you're not seeing the miracle. You're looking at all the things with demoralize you. You're not seeing the word of God. You're not bringing the promises of God. You're not refreshing yourself with the promises of God. He said in Proverbs 10, 22, the blessings of the Lord brings well without painful. He said his, his blessings make it rich and have no sorrow. If you are blessed and you're going through sorrow, <laughs> that, is not from, that is not from God. That's what God promised us. He said, I bless you. God does not have a tribute. He is love personified. So he said, I bless you. And I will not add sorrow. No pain, no toil, no painful toil for it. Nothing, nothing in exchange is our God. So we're going to be praying this prayer point. Say, so Father, your word declares in Ecclesiastes 5 9 that the profit of the earth is for all. We command the earth to yield and give up our portions of its profit and without painful toil. 
according to your word in the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare. Stand and begin to declare that you cannot pray this prayer and be the same by tomorrow morning. He said that weeping the joy and joy for the night, the joy comes in the morning. My Rika Bronda Kasuko te yele brando koseka te la broka shante yele brando koseka te le braka suko te le branda kasuko te ha makaseke te le braka se speak profit in that business that is failing. Speak reservation in that business. Speak life la broko seka to le brando koseka te ha. In the name of Jesus, the second prayer point says, since I was young, now I am old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for bread. My heavenly father supplies all my need according to his riches. Just I declare, I will not beg. Open your mouth and declare, I will not beg. I will not beg because the Lord supplies supplies my needs according to his riches, not according to the world economy, not according to Nigeria's uh, economy, not according to what is going on this present, not according to recession. Oh, the Lord, if he, he supplies all my needs according to his own riches, according to heavenly riches, uh, therefore I will not beg. My husband will not beg. My children will not beg. My so called take any brand no co sika to ribranda kasheke te ha. My kasuko take a sika to ibranda kasoko take ha. My kasika te because he has said in his word that we will go like the cedars of Lebanon and we will be like the tree planted by the by the, by, the, by the rivers of water, therefore, and we will bring forth fruit in in, in in each season. Ah, my business will not die. My career will not die. I will not die. Nothing in my hand will die. Nothing that the Lord has put in my hand will die. Everything that the Lord has put in my hand will flourish. It will grow. We will flourish. It will grow. For in fact. Even in the kingdom, in the kingdom works in the mighty name of Jesus. Every purpose, every plans of God concerning my life, concerning my business, ah, Makasokote will come to pass. Because as he said it, we need not bring it to pass. Because there is nothing impossible for my God. He's the God of impossibility. Where my own ability stops, that's where his own starts. Makasokote. I do not run by my own ideas. Uh, I run by the ideas uh, of my father. Mako shika telebrando ko sika ta. Malebro ko sato ko libra ka seke telebranda. Nete ye ka son te ke lebranda ka sike ye lebra ka seke te ha. Hey, open your mouth and begin to declare. Declare that I will not beg. I will not beg. Of course, my father never begged. And if Jesus never begged, I will not beg. In Jesus' name, we are declaring. The third prayer point in this section is the Heavenly Father. Dispatch your angels as we pray to release my portion in the earth. I declare success in my portion. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Declare success in your portion. Declare wealth in your portion. Declare health in your portion. Declare wisdom in your portion. Declare understanding in your portion. Declare righteousness in your portion. Declare knowledge in your portion. Declare insight in your portion. In your portion, favor in your portion. Open your mouth. Declare soundness of mind. Because the Lord has not given me the spirit of fear. Some mind I can seek at it. Because some mind is your portion. Understanding of mysteries is my portion. My family success is my portion. Is my lot. Not being short of it. Anything that is not according to the word of God is not for me. If I cannot find it from Genesis to Revelation, it ought not to be. Therefore, it is not acceptable. Open your mouth and declare success. Every beautiful thing that you want to see happening in your life life, uh, opening in the life of your husband and your children, uh, open your mouth and begin to declare, <laughs> open my children, uh, my God will give them, uh, 
the ability to receive knowledge, uh, the ability to retain knowledge, uh, the ability to reproduce knowledge uh, upon demand. In a mighty name of Jesus, mark out the to navigate in the marketplace. Marco Sika Tori Branda Kaseha is my portion. Marco Secretary Brando Kosika Deli Marca Yelena Doko Branda Katori Brako Secretary. Hey, yet a secretary Brando Kosika Teha. Hey, in Jesus' name we are praying. Maselebrando Kosika Teha. Understanding of trees, <laughs> understanding of this is your question. Understanding business in my years of experience is how to go to God and ask God, This is this business. Should I go? Should I do? Should I do? I've relied so much on God that it, it takes me from stage to stage. It takes me from stage to stage. It will get to this stage. He says, It's time to do this. And He has not failed. That is why we have to go back to the drawing board. Make sure that whatever process, whatever decision you are making at every point in time is coming from God. That is the most important. We cannot do business like the worldly people. You will not succeed. You will do things that is not aligning with the word of God. That is why you have to stay in the place. You have to be in his presence. And go in this From Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8. He said, The blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along the river bank with roots that reach deep in the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worries or, or worried by the long month of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. There is no tree that is rooted deep, deep, no matter the amount of wind, no matter the amount of flood, the tree will stand. But any tree that does not, that is not rooted, rooted, slight wind will just them, will pull them off. And how do we get ourselves rooted? By studying the word by studying the word, because you are supposed to have a word for every situation, for every circumstances, for every environment. As you are stepping into another environment, you take over the territory. You are moving your branch to another branch, you take over the territory. You must search the scripture. You must be in tune with the, with the word of God. You must remain constantly in his presence. You must be spiritual, because it's only you cannot please him without faith. God is spirit, you deal with him in spirit. So you have to be rooted. You have to be prayerful. You have to be prayerful. You have to deny yourself some kind of sleep in the night. You have to war the war so that the weeping, you weep in the night. And when you come in the morning, the glory is shining. People will know what is happening as you enter that office and that contract working according to his word. You've already Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. The whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Exactly. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which uses fruit in seasons and whose leaf does not. You cannot tell me that you're a child of God and you do the things. You cannot, there's no way. There's no way you can succeed by one leg here, one leg there. So for you, for you, to solely depend on that door because when God opens door, He gives you direction. He will give you direction. I've not seen who God gives instruction without guiding, guiding him or her on how to go about it. That is not our God. When He gives you instruction, when He says go this way, He directs you. When He says take this path, He leads you through. 
because he is the only true way. So as we go into the final prayer point, proclaim that the doors of heavenly treasures are open permanently to you because you trust in the Lord and have made the Lord your hope and confidence. Open your mouth this night and begin to proclaim. I proclaim that the doors of heavenly treasures are open permanently to me, to my husband, to my children, because I chose to all the watchers, to all the watchers women, to all our spouses, to all our children. I, because as we trust in the Lord, because we have made the Lord our hope and our confidence, we have made the Lord our refuge and our fortresser. I proclaim, proclaim that the doors of heavenly treasures are open permanently to me, are open permanently to my business in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point two, I am not bothered by the heat of reception. No, 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 no. Or by political instability or by FS brutality or worries by long months of drought, problems in the world today. My leaf stays green. And I never stop producing food. Open your mouth and begin to declare that I will never, no matter the circumstances, no matter the economic situation, no matter the po political situation, no matter the sociological situation, no matter what the situation look like, uh -huh. as long as the Lord sees, as long as the Lord oversees affairs, uh -huh. Producing fruit, I will produce fruit. My husband, our husbands, our children, we will produce fruit in our business, in our career, in every area of our field. We will produce our ministry. We will produce fruit. We will not be like that tree that Jesus, that fig tree that Jesus cut. We will produce fruit in each season in the mighty name of Jesus. My second tenebra cote it alomo socote. My zunde in a machaka toni branakusa catenebra casecate. In Jesus' name we are praying. Open your mouth and begin to praise. Praise our Father who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Thank him for he has poured out his blessings and opened the doors of generational wealth over the watcher's ministry upon our lives, careers, business, professions, health, income, and relationship. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Begin to bless him for all the watcher's family, for what he's doing in our lives, for his spiritual blessings, for his spiritual blessings, for divine health, for restoration, for giving us speed, for that fresh ideas, for our ministry, for fresh anointing, the unction to function, for relationships that he has brought our ways, destiny helpers, angelic assistants, divine laborers, thank him, open your mouth and praise the king of kings, the I am that I am, the ability that never fail, the one who was, who is, who is to come, the one who will never change, the mover, Father, we praise your name. Ah, open your mouth. Prayer point four. Praise the Lord because whatever we do, whatever we do prospers. We have the power to produce wealth. We yield fruit in season and our leaf does not wither. We are like trees planted along the rivers with the roots that reach deep into the water. Declare that I am like the tree planted by the rivers of water. Ah, that my root is rooted. Deep, 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 deep into the water. Ah, each season I will bear fruit. I will bring up fruit. I will never bring negative fruit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to praise him. That the work of our hands are blessed. Our work of our hands are blessed. Our ideas are blessed. Our creativity, our thinking are being manifested. Produced into something magnificent. Something beautiful. Something impactful. Hallelujah, even as we begin to round up this prayer, open your mouth, begin to pray.
magnificent. Our God is good. Our God is great. There is none like him. There is none beside him. He's the one that says the thing that comes to pass. Hey, He's the ancient of days. The beginning of the valley. The beginning and the end. The Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. For saying amen to all our prayers. For answering us tonight. For great doors that you have opened. For your blessings that you have poured out tonight. Father, we honor you. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. Hallowed be your name, Prince of Peace. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank God. Let us just begin to thank God. Thank God for all that we have heard tonight. Uh, blessed be the Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. God be praised. Let his name alone be honored in our praises in Jesus' name. You can unmute now. Let's just thank God for an awesome session and all that we have prayed tonight. And so shall the words that we have spoken tonight go forth and begin to germinate. They will begin for fruit. They will prosper us. They will prosper us. Everything that we have spoken will germinate. We will suffer no lack. We will lack no good. Let us just thank God. Let us just praise God. He alone needs to be praised. He alone is that God is God for the adoration. He is God. He is supposed to be worthy. We are worthy. I am worthy. My family is worthy. My teenage is worthy. My children are worthy. My house is worthy. Watchers are worthy. Watchers are worthy. Everyone present on this screen are worthy. We 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 are worthy. Anoint the Amen. So thank you, thank you, Lord. I, I I want to apologize that we're over short our time today, but I I believe it is a time well spent. And thank you all for your patience. Our next meeting will come up on the 27th of October. And uh, I look forward to seeing every one of you then and there. Uh, God bless you. Have a wonderful night rest. Bye. Amen. God bless you too. And don't, for, don't forget to uh, click on the link. The link the, in the chat, I've put the link again click and complete the form as uh, pastor t earlier advice thank you everyone i love you god bless you bye thank you bye thank you god bless you bye god bless you thank you so much god bless you all bye thank you. bye thank you god bless you